Hi everybody and welcome back to the Tinker Pie Factory. In this series we're going through the 37 sensor kit from Key Studios. In the last video we looked at the rotary sensor and plugged it into the Arduino. If you missed that video we still have it hooked up here so uh, I'm gonna hop over to my computer and in this terminal session I have uh, the, my Raspberry Pi connected to the Arduino and this is uh, the serial monitor and we're getting a whole bunch of zeros here because we're all the way to the left. I'm going to turn it all the way over to the right and the values get bigger and bigger till we get to 1023, but it's actually 1024. And then we'll go back down to zero. Okay, so all kinds of things you could do with that. Um, and we will do some things in some later videos, but in this one, we're just going to hook it up to the micro bit to see if it, it'll work. Okay, so here is our micro bit. Um, it's plugged into a Kitronic motor board uh, that I'm using as a breakout. So you can plug it in one direction and use it as a motor board, and in the other direction use it as a breakout. And I've, I've also purchased a couple of other uh, breakout boards to try. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, hook it up first. We need to use some different wires because these are male-female, and we need a female-female. Go ahead and plug the sensor in first. Okay, the red goes into positive, the black into negative, and the blue into S, which is signal. Okay, then we hook this into our micro bit, and the ground here is on the end. And then we've got three volts, four pins in. And then we're going to plug this into pin zero, which is the second one. Okay, so next I'm going to uh, plug it into my uh, computer. Then I'm going to open my browser and go to uh, makecode.microbit.org. And this is a, a little uh, block program that uh, lets you create uh, JavaScript using blocks. So we have an on start, which will uh, execute when you boot up your microbit, and then we have a forever loop that will continually loop through until something interesting happens. Okay, so uh, first thing we need to do is think about what we want to do. So let's start with something simple. Um, I'm going to go into basic and I'm going to drag a show icon into the forever loop. We want it there because we want to keep looping and looping and uh, see if the sensor value has changed. And then we're going to either brighten or dim the heart based on that value. So the next thing we want is uh, under LED and more, set brightness, and it says 255. So you can set uh, a manual level there by typing it in. But we don't want to do it manually. We want the value to come from the sensor. So then we're going to go down to advanced, and we're going to find pins. Click that, and then we're going to do it's analog, so we're going to select an analog read, pin zero, and we're going to plug it into that little puzzle piece. Okay, so uh, we should be ready to go. We're going to be looping and set the brightness on each loop to, um, to whatever the sensor uh, is returning. So um, you, you can uh, save it. If you want to use it later, you might want to save it, but I'm just playing around, so I'm going to just click download, click done, and then I'm going to open my downloads directory, and there's my hex file, so that's my program, and I want to find the, uh, the micro bit. It creates a little drive uh, over here on the left when you plug it in, or it should. So I'm going to drag it over. And this will copy that program over to the micro bit. And then uh, after it copies, it's going to reboot. And then the program should execute. 
Okay, I think it's not showing up because we have our uh, knob all the way over to the left. So I'm going to turn it to the right. Oh, there we go. Brighter, brighter, brighter. Dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. Okay, so it works. It's great. Okay, so let's try it with uh, a couple of the other breakouts I have. Just going to unplug this. And this one actually looks, well, looks a little different, um, but they're all going to basically look the same. I'm going to plug into ground. Three volts is this third one over. Pin zero is on the end this time. Okay, turn it. That one works too. Okay, let's try this one last breakout because this one's a little different. This is called a sensor uh, breakout board. And to be honest, I haven't really used this, um, but it's it's kind of cool because it um, it looks like it has. Uh, uh, a ground and and the, the three three volts for each sensor so you you wouldn't need um, you wouldn't need a breadboard if you were using a lot of these together okay so let's uh, use the the zero here like we have them I'm gonna plug this one into the V and this one into the G and the blue into the uh, S of the zero line here so try it. And that one works too. Awesome. So now we've hooked up the analog rotary sensor to the Arduino and the microbit. So now we can do all kinds of cool things with, with it in later projects. So I hope you come back and, and uh, look for those and subscribe to my channel.